Hey, what's up? My name's Tyler, and today I'm going to be going over my technique that I came up with for acid washing denim with bleach, specifically a vest uh, in order to make a battle vest. Um, I saw a lot of techniques on YouTube, and I didn't really find what I was looking for exactly. I was going for something really unique, uh, something that would really stand out, and I think I achieved that. Uh, it was My process was an, an amalgamation of a bunch of different techniques that I saw online, um, but I didn't see any really solid tutorials on how to do this, so I'm making my own. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so you're gonna need four things for this process. Number one, a bucket, two, bleach, three rubber bands, and four, of course, the vest. So starting off, first thing we're going to need to do is dump out all of our rubber bands. And if you've ever tie-dyed something before, this is a very similar process. So what you're going to do is you're just going to start twisting different parts of the fabric and rubber banding that together. And then you'll just bend it, twist it, rubber band it some more, and just keep repeating. So this is a really good shot to show you exactly what that looks like. Now I found that the thicker the rubber bands, the better. Um, first couple times that I tried to do this I used uh, thinner rubber bands uh, they kept snapping on me so I definitely recommend going with the uh, thicker rubber bands that you can get and just keep you just want to keep twisting and tying and twisting and bending and tying until you have just this total lump that can no longer be twisted or tied anymore so that's what it should look like on a certain level And so even here, I discovered that I can go even further. And this twisting action, that's going to be what allows the pattern to look the way that it does in the finished product. With the biomesh looking, tearing pattern that's going on. You're also going to be fitting this into your bucket so if you were like me and you didn't really think ahead of time uh, you're going to have to really condense this thing so that it'll fit in your bucket that you got from Ace Hardware so next thing you're gonna do is make a mixture of three parts water to one part bleach Now if you notice, I put way too much in there and it is not going to fit. So after making the mix, you'll have to uh, dump some stuff out. And then what you're going to do is just submerge the entire condensed garment underneath the mixture. Hold it down until all the air bubbles are out. And that's what's going to make sure that gets a nice spread pattern and it'll also allow you to walk away and not have to worry about holding it down the entire time and then you just wait uh, I waited about two hours um, you can go longer if you want a stronger effect. Uh, you can go shorter if you want a less dramatic acid wash pattern. And you'll be able to tell, and as you can see, you'll be able to look and just tell if it's getting to that level of white that you're looking for. Um, since I was using black, it took a little bit more than I think a regular jean vest would take. Now that you're done with that, you're going to 
wash it off, run it through the washer and dryer, and then this will be your finished product.